Hello guys, this is Mantrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you the best settings for Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death. We're using large frame buffer, custom resolution of 2560 by 1440, anisotropic filtering at 16 times, mint mapping off, CRC hack level, full direct 3D brick, and it is on and we are using 16 times MSAA. This game is not demanding at all, so I will be um, pushing this game to the limit with this hack on. Nothing else, by the way, this game is almost closely emulated. It's almost perfect, but we'll show some issues down the track very shortly. We've got texture, filtering of display, turned on, and FXAA shader on. So let's go over here real quick. We have MTVU one. It is a hack that actually speeds up your um your game, makes it more consistent. But you do not need this core. Do not need this hack for this game. Even at 16 times MSAA, this game is like very very well emulated. Um, I'm just using it just for purposes. Plus, you need three cores. I have six, so that's good. We're gonna flip to this to check out the dimensions. Just ignore that. This is something we, we we actually see on software mode when you've got a black screen on this game. When you're in the main menu, uh, back to start a level. So yeah, 512 by 448. This game is targeting on native PS2. So let's have a let's have a quick look at this game. So as you see, we're in the mission called Hospital, and um, this is native PS2. And yeah, as you see, the game got a lot of um, shimmering on the screen, quite blurry, unfortunately, but that's what we get for playing at this resolution. Now, I've got two issues I want to show you guys real quick. On software and hardware mode, reflections are not right. They have different, different color artifacts. We've got blue right over there, and we've got some rainbow effects right over here. But let's go to um, native 1440p and have a look at this comparison. So as you see, this is native 1440p. It is very, very refined. Looks very clean. 16 times MSAA to ignore all those jaggies. But um, as you see on hardware mode, the reflections are still incorrect, and that frame rate on the um, the glass is really, really uh, small in frame rate. This game targets 30 frames. If you look at the top left counter of my screen, or the top left corner of my screen, you see I uh, this game says 60. If you see a 59 as we see right now, that means we lost a frame down to 29. Otherwise, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it for um, frame rate. We'll have a look. We're just going to run around in this area and we'll uh, stress test it real quick. So let's flick to this real quick. All right. Oh, by the way, this is another issue as well. This game has broken shadows. If you play this game on OpenGL, on hardware, you will actually have proper shadows. They actually work really well, but on DirectX 11, which is what I'm using, the shadows are broken. But if you go to native PS2, which is software mode, you see that the shadows are perfectly fine. Let's go back over to native PS, native, native 1440p. Let's have another look around, so. Alright. Yeah, so um just using my shotgun killing enemies and there's really no drops at all. I played through this whole game. I am on hard mode, I finished the whole game on hard mode, and obviously I had barely no drops at all, even with MSAA on. You will get some slight stuttering that doesn't actually have any effect on frame rate, so you may notice it during this gameplay. Well, not this gameplay, but when you play it yourself. But other than that, this game looks absolutely beautiful. There's a few minor issues. FMVs still have flickering even though large frame buffer is on. And also, anisotropic filtering for this game. Attention even with 16 times with AA on, you can still see there's some shimmering on the floor. It just seems like that this is one of the games that has broken anisotropic filtering even at 16 times. You turn it off, you will not notice a difference. It still has the exact same effect. So, for some reason, some settings do not work for this game. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. But anyway, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's native PS2. This is native 1440p. Runs fine. If you guys are not happy with the PCSX2 version, I want to show you guys something. 
Alright, I have Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death on Steam. I have 388 Steam games, but my brother owns this. It's Summer Sale 2017. Uh, if you want to pick up this game for like dirt cheap on Steam, uh, if this wants to load, that'd be great. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Don't know why it's not loading. But, um. Yeah, because this game runs at nature 1440p on um, PCSX2, but um, Judge Dread on Steam, as you see, you can buy it for uh, two dollars USD because it's summer sale right now. The game uh, runs at 60 frames, pretty much locked the whole time. So if you want to play this game at 60 frames, go grab the Steam version right now. It is 75% uh, off. Um, the problem is you cannot play the game at 2560 by 1440 the game only targets 1920 by 1440 which is not widescreen mode it's actually targeting 4x3 aspect ratio where the BCSX2 version can go up to 8k at 16 by 9 so it's really up to you guys if you want to play the game at 60 frames right now here's a heads up go bug right now if you are looking at this video around um, what's it June 25th to July 6th is when the summer sale ends other than that Sorry, just wanted to quickly have an advertise for uh, Judge Dredd on Steam. They deserve, a, you know, some money. That'd be great. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, thank you for watching. See ya.